Hi there, this is Joe Carmel with Quilts by Carmel. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a close-up of the songbook um, fabric line that I'm using. This is from, I believe, 2021 or, yeah, I think it's 21 or 2020. It's a Moda line. And I just wanted you all to see what I'm seeing. Look at all this goodness. I'm super excited. There are 30 different um, fabrics in this um this was a fab eight bundle and i've cut a uh, five and a half uh by tw like 21 22 uh, inch strip and then i'm going to use the go me to make uh, a log cabin songbook or a songbook log cabin and okay i have taken my go me thank you miss t and I have cut up my five and a half inch by I think 21, 22 inches strips. And I have used the die cutter. Let me show you the die cutter real quickly. I use this one and I'm gonna come in close, okay? So this is a two inch, one and a half and a one inch. And I have uh, cut them all up. So here's my two inches. Here's my one and a half and here's my one inch. And now I'm just going to put them in a pile and um, then I'm going to sit and sew uh, a, log, a log cabin block around each of these um, little sayings. This was my panel. I have 24 of these and I love it. It says strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Great is thy faithfulness. Um, here's another one. Let's see. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. So I have um, six different of, um, of these little blocks that I have fussy cut out and uh, have four each of them. So I have put them on my design wall to help me um, as I am building each block so that I can, I, I think I want like lines of color, but I'm not sure yet, but that's my thought process. Let me show you one that's already done. Look at that, isn't that pretty? This is my story. This is my song. Praising the Savior all the day long. <laughs> I don't own the rights to that song. So these must be songs. I think they are because, let me see. Um, I'm thinking it is well with my soul and what does this one say come thou fount of every blessing tune my heart to sing to thy grace so that is um, what my plan is I will be back shortly I'm gonna piece a block for you all um, really quickly probably may, may even speed it up um, I'm not cutting these into specific sizes because as you can see, my blocks are different sizes. So I'm having to um, adjust, tweak, twerk, no, tweet, <laughs> tweak, not tweet <laughs> them. So I'm excited. I will show you a little of what my plan is here. Let me see if I can straighten it out a little. I'm gonna move my go me die and show you kind of what my plan is here. So I've got two blocks pieced up there and I have uh, basically set them out so that um, I have a little color variety since it's only six uh, blocks of each. So it's 24. All right, so that's my plan. I'll be right back. I'm gonna piece a block really quickly hopefully i'll be able to speed it up so you can just see how it goes um and i'll be back okay okay guys i am in my little sewing nest i have put a tv tray with a wool mat over here in my iron i have my sewing machine i'd like to introduce you to her her name is miss penny mack and if you guys will remember i don't know how old you are i'm probably showing my age but miss penny mack 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 all dressed in black 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 with silver buttons 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 all down her back 
back, back. Uh, but that's why I gave her the name, uh, Miss Penny Mac. Okay, I am ready to piece my uh, another block. I have uh, picked out some strips. They're all sitting here, okay? And I have my rotary cutter and my ruler because I am just going to um, trim the block as I go. And then also, oh, I wanted to show you all this. This is called, um, This is these are pre-wound bobbins for Juki. I absolutely love them. It's called L Style. It's by Superior Threads. And it is a 50 weight cotton. And I absolutely love it. I um, use it all the time. I got them at the Roads California. And I just got a couple, but I've ordered uh, um, quite a few. So I am ready to piece, 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 piece. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Um, and I will link below. Yes, I'll I'll link it in the description below. So if you're interested in, if you have a Juki and you're interested in pre-wound bobbins, it does get a little lengthy. You just have to clean your machine. Uh, every time I change a bobbin, I check and I do a little cleaning, but that's it. And I love it. Alrighty, let's go ahead and piece. I'm going to piece these a little differently. I am going to um, actually lay my block on top of the strip this is a white on white you can see it's on the other side so i'm going to lay it on top and this one i'm starting at the top i want to get some variety in my blocks okay so here goes we're just gonna start and i may speed this up if it gets too long okay all right. There we go. And yes, it does have an automatic cutter, but for some reason, I just really uh, prefer to do it this way. <laughs> then I'm going to cut. All right, there's my first piece gonna heat up my iron over here too I forgot to do that and trimming here all right so I put it at the top I am going to press these seams open um, I don't want any bulk in this quilt top all right there we go. I have a clapper over here, but I don't really feel like I need it right now. All right, so let's find the other one. I'm looking for my other thin one. There it is. There's a low volume. All right. Sorry. There we go. And I just like to get mine started and then I line it up a little better. And then I put my pedal to the metal. All right. Yeah. Trim this. I like the speed on the Juki, but I don't have it at the fastest um, pace. Um, I um, more so like the quality of the stitch, and I love this quarter uh, inch foot. I just absolutely love it. All right. So I'm going to open it up. Hit it with a little iron. Okay, I'm going to set the clapper on this for just a second while I look for the other two. Okay, I think I'm going to do this one and this one. 
All right. So yep, I think I'm going to do them like that. Here we go. I just have to test them out since I this is about as random as I've ever done. I like to have everything planned out. All right. Here we go. All right. All right, trimming again. Okay, I'm going to open this one up. All right, and next, we're going to put this one on here. But you can see how fast this would go. Um, oh, and if you got had already picked out everything, it would really go fast. All right, here we go. Okay, okay. It's looking pretty good. All right. I'm going to press it. There we go. I'm going to put the clapper on for a couple of seconds while I pick out the next two. I need the one and a half. Ooh, how many one and a half do I have? Okay. Mm -hmm. I got two that look the same, so I'm going to try to get a different one and a half. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Maybe get this one and a half. Okay. There we go. Didn't realize I picked up two of the same. Then we're going to do low volume again. Okay, trim. So you do a total of three rounds, one of one inch, one of one and a half inch, and then one of three inch. I may play with um, the different sizes at different stages, um, but right now this is how I'm seeing it. So we'll, we'll see as it goes on, okay? All right, let's press this one open. <laughs> my fingers will let me there we go oh i miss having nails as a nurse you don't get to um uh you can paint your nails but they can't be chipped and as soon as you put them in water guess what <laughs> they start chipping <laughs> so um 
You can get your manicures, but that's about the most that you can do. Let's see. All right. I'm going to put it on down here. All right. Well, I hope you guys can see this very clearly. Start it off and then... And that's just a little above half speed. <laughs> so it's a fast machine, I will say that. But I've been enjoying learning about it. I haven't quilted on it just yet. But with the pillows I plan to do this summer, that should happen. All right. Okay, let's press this one while we pick out two more strips that are one inch in color. Okay, we're going to do this one. Uh, nope, not that one. This one? Or are we going to do the blue? Did the blue, did we do the blue? No, we're not doing the blue. I'm going to do that color. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so they always turn it back. So we did there, there. We need to come down here. And let's do this one first. I just love these colors. They are pretty amazing. All right. All right. This is getting really cute, guys. Put a little there on it. Then we're going to do this one. All right. So it should come up this side. Yep. Sorry, losing control here. There we go. All right, just around one more time and we're done. And you can do a log cabin to any size block, in my opinion. Um, and then all you have to do is I'm just going to make sure I square all these blocks up to the same size. So when I go to put the quilt top together, sew the blocks together, they're the same size. All right, that's looking good. Uh-oh. There we go. Let's pick out the next two whites. 
that. So that's one, and there's the other. I say white, but they're low volume, okay? <laughs> All right, that's long enough. All right. Um, they go at the top. Let's see, do we do this one at the top? Or this one? I think we're going to do this one at the top. Oops, a daisy. There we go. We're going to do this one at the top. And I'm just trying not to put too many busy um, fabrics together, no matter if they're low volume or um, if they're print. doesn't matter. Boy. There we go. Keeps popping out. There we go. All righty. Yes. All right. Three more to go. Why? I like this because it's it's kind of spontaneous that you get to pick your um this is close to strap scrap uh a scrappy long cabin but it's not because it's all in the same line or i wouldn't consider it they all coordinate all right go with this one there we go Oh, this is exciting. It's almost done. All right. There we go. And uh, you know what? On the next cut, I'm realizing I'm not showing you guys how I'm squaring this up, am I? <laughs> so I will show you on the next one, okay? All right, let's open it up. I probably should set the seams and then open it up, but this works the same. All right, I'm gonna press this. And you have to lift so it doesn't flip the other ones that you've already done like I just did over. All right, I'm going to put my clapper on there. And then I'm going to move this a little closer for next time. All right. So I have these two left. Oh boy, that's close call. Will that fit? I don't think that's going to fit. Mm -mm. One will, but that one won't. So I'm going to have to get a, a different one here. I have it upside down too. There we go. Yeah, that's not going to work. So I am going to use some of the orange. Let me just grab it really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to have to use one of these. I haven't used that before. 
What about those two? All right. This one can go on this side and this one can go down here. Yep. That will work. <laughs> so this is what I mean about the improv. All righty. Get it started. Keep it on track. All right. And now I'm going to bring this closer. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing as far as trimming. All right, I'm just lining up here and the seam up here. Okay, I'm going to move that out of the way. So the side of the block and the seam. You should probably always have two reference points. And here's this one. All right, there we go. I'm going to open it up. There we go. Press it. And you don't necessarily have to press it. Um, you can, uh, I have one of um, a wooden press or you could use um, Lori Holt's um, press. Either one will work for you. All righty. All right, this is the last strip I'm going to put on. Flip them over. Alrighty, this is the last one. Let's trim it up. And you guys, please forgive me if I keep putting my hand in the way, okay? I'll get better at this, hopefully. <laughs> ah, that didn't work. All right, I'm going to straighten that up a little. There we go. Much better, much better. And then we're going to do this side. Lining up against the, the block here and the seam here. All right, closing up my rotary cutter. That's the last one. Going to open up the seam. And then we'll look at the block, the finished block. How exciting. Ooh, that's not good. Open it up all the way. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put the clamper on it while I clear off this area so I can show you the block. Alrighty. So I'm just going to keep piecing this and then I will come back with a finished quilt top. Isn't that cute, you all? I have it upside down, don't I? No, I don't. I have it the right way. Yay! I'm excited. I'm excited for how these are going to turn out. They're looking super cute. Okay, guys, I'll be back. 
okay it is done and i really love it i'm saying that surprised because i didn't know how it was going to turn out as i was doing it um i but i really love it i love how the low volume comes together to make this cross right in the center of all these song look uh, blocks i ended up squaring each block to unfinished 10 and a half to 12. And then of course finish is 10 to 11 and a half. So it turns out to be 40 by 46. And um, I think it's a good size. I think it would go great on like the back of a couch or, or laying it over a love seat. That would really be, yeah, I think that's, that, that's the ticket there. Um, let me just kind of go over the idea and some of the hiccups that I had. So I made a total of 20 blocks, but um, I only used 16 uh, again because I really like the cross in the in the middle, and then I want it to be like the sun bursting or light bursting out from the cross. So that was my thought thought process there, and is small enough that I can put on this frame and then I can practice my long arming. So that's my ideal. Uh, for what's going to happen with this quilt top. I I still have four blocks that I've already made. I'm going to incorporate them on the back. I think that would be the best thing to do. And here are some of my leftovers. So I'm going to make some string blocks and or put them on the back of this quilt. I'm not quite sure um, how I'm going to incorporate them. But I like how it turned out with a panel and a fat eight. Um, bundle. <laughs> I was thinking it would be a lot larger, so that I'm a little disappointed in, but the end result I really like. And I love these colors. I think this will be fall and it'll be on our love seat and I think that will work just great, okay? Or even just on the chair would be a good one. All right, give me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. If you would, like, comment and or subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.